you see, I am going to show you some of the new features of voice comments. And anybody that knows me knows I love all the speech to text and text to speech and um, ways to add comments and provide students with feedback in Google Docs. So let's get started. Um, voice comments has now been updated just this week. So I want to show you the new features. Let me start my screen share here. Um, now, instead of adding the voice comment app, you're going to go to this website and add this app extension app to your Google Drive. It's kazena.com. I could be pronouncing that wrong, but I will explain all the good stuff that is there. So if you're going to remember anything, this is the website. When you first go to that website, you're going to want to connect it to your Google Drive. So I'm just going to say connect to Google Drive. And I agree to all this fun stuff because it's going to let me add feedback to my Google Docs. So the first time, if you just go to the website when you're logged in, you can select your doc and just click on it. And it will open up um, the document and give you kind of an overlay so you can start adding your feedback and just like you did before with voice comments. Another way to do it, once you launch it the first time and you connect it to your Google Drive, if you're just in Google Drive and you right click on the doc, you can say open with. And now instead of voice comments, there is Kazena. So I'm going to type on, select this, not type on it, but select it and there's that little voice microphone. And again, it'll open that document up. I just took the text from Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech and I'm going to add some comments to this document. And you can do it any document that's been shared with you. So here comes that highlighter. So there's three different types of comments you can add each time you highlight. And let's, I'm going to go through and show you all three. So the first, let's start with this first sentence. And I'm going to highlight it. And I'm gonna just going to leave a voice comment like we were used to before. Looks a little bit different because we can section it out now and have a voice comment separated. It's not one big long stream. So if I click on this, I can allow. And um, sometimes if you're using a Chrome browser or something, the first time you have, there might be a pop-up bar across the top. So make sure you look for that if it doesn't go right away. So now I can record my comment. If you were to introduce this speech, what kind of introduction would you write? And then I can just hit stop and now that comment has been added and if I click on the eyeball I can see the comment and here's the text that I am talking about in the paper and then here's the comment that I, if I hit play here I can actually play the comment and hear the feedback. Another type of comment, so I'm just going to go down later in the document and highlight this text and another I can just leave a text comment so if I click I can type some text Would you reword this section? And then I can just hit comment and it's there. And again, if I click on the little eyeball, I can see the text and the comment that I left. Okay? I have not left any resources and I didn't leave any voice feedback. One of the nice things to the additions is the color coding. So I could actually do green. Um, this orange color or red. So maybe as a teacher, um, I might, everything that's red is first priority or everything that's green, it has to do with the same skill that we're working on. So you can actually use your color coding to your advantage as you're starting to edit and add feedback. Let's go a little further in the document. And I'm going to show you another type of comment. And this is probably my favorite as we're starting to personalize instruction with for students. You can actually add a resource tag. So if I have a website and there's a skill that we're working on um, that I want them to visit to go learn more about, so let's go to Kevin's grammar.me site and let's say we're working on um, literary present tense. Here is the site, I guess I'm already there, literary present tense. So here is a video all about literary present tense and there's some questions so the student can on their own go back and review this stuff and then actually go in and make that adjustment in their paper. So I want them to actually visit the site. So if I copy that website and I jump back to my I Have a Dream speech and I might say literary tense and then I can type in 
the link and I can add it to my resource. So now when a student comes in and looks at this, they can click on it and they will actually have a website that they can go and visit um, to learn a little bit more about the skill that they're, they haven't quite mastered. What's really nice is as you start adding resources, if I go to add a resource link again, I can start typing the name. So I actually have one already stored as passive voice. So as I go through, even through different students' papers, I can pull up that tag and that resource and reuse it over and over and over again. So I can attach that one. So this does carry, all the resources do, they're attached to your account, so they'll carry through paper through paper. Okay. One of the nice things then is once you get the feedback and you've gone through the document, you can decide um, to send the feedback and who do you want to get the feedback. So I'm going to actually send this feedback to my, myself. And so I can select the person, so I'm going to select me, and I can either share via comments or send via email. If I send via email, it's going to give them this link at the top, that funky link to the documents in the website, but I'm going to just share via comment because that will insert that comment into the comments um, in your Google Doc, So, which is really nice because they can go from the document then in Google um, Drive where they're making edits back and forth to view, view the comments. Then I hit done. And so let's go back and see where that shows up. I'm going to refresh here. And now I'm going to go to my I Have a Dream speech. And like I said, in the comments up by the share button, here is that link with the feedback. So I've done this twice now. So here's the link, and I can go in and click on that, and it's going to bring up my document. Or if I was a student, it will bring up the document with all the different kinds of feedback, and they can go and view all or listen to all of the feedback. And if they wanted to, you could delete it each time if they're done with it. Okay, another feature I want to show you is if I go back to the dashboard, it will show the documents um, that I have added feedback to, or I can go add a bunch of documents at the beginning. Another thing you can look at is your resources. So your resource library that's auto-populating as you go, or if you wanted to, you could add all of your resources right up front so you don't have to copy and paste each time and build as you go. So two um, really nice features that have been added. That you can go to this website and log in and see your documents, or you can go right to your resource list. Again, the website to add this to your Google Drive is kazena.com. And feel free to let me know if you have any questions or on, if you've got feedback, notice on the website there's always a place for feedback and support. So add your comments um, and your feedback. These guys have been super receptive and have made some awesome additions to the product based on feedback that they've gotten. So go in there and leave feedback as needed. And again, let me know if you have any questions. As I shut my screen share off. All right, have a great day.